Hello oh, and welcome to Blue Zone. Today we're going to talk about uh, bullseye reference. It's, uh, it's the using of a common reference point among your flying team. It's used to give a reference to a target without giving out your position. Or it can also be used to help you find each other in the air. Let's get the objectives out of the way. We're going to learn what it is, understand how it works, and also learn how to use it. Okay, this is a bit of a busy slide, so bear with me. On the right hand side, you will see that there is a circle with numerous degrees. If you've watched my video uh, with the waypoint navigation where I talk about VOR, you'll understand the radial concept. In this case here, it's a waypoint, so therefore it does not have transmitting uh, emitters that uh, gives you every, every one degree. Instead, you get a relative bearing position, and it's in relations to the north or depending on your settings in your airplane, but I'm going to use magnetic north in this case. Now in the picture you will see that I have a waypoint X and the reason why I, use, I choose to use X is because it can be any waypoint that you assign. It could be waypoint 0, could be waypoint 16, it could be any waypoint really that you assign to an aircraft. Now if we look at the airplane positions you will notice in reference to waypoint X, if you look at the blue plane, which is a superbug, it is currently on a relative bearing of 150. And if you look at the green uh, MiG-29 airplane, his position is uh, about the uh, relative bearing of 230. So we're, what can we find from this? You're both south of the actual waypoint based on your position and since the its relative bearing the higher degrees would mean that is uh, in this case on your left so it's westerly of where you are and if I look at the uh, super bug in blue if I want to fly to the MiG-29 I would have to take a heading of approximately 280 to fly to the target now let's take a look to see how that translates in the, into our radar. On the left hand side I have a picture of a radar. Now at the bottom of the screen you will see a 150 degree slash 15 nautical miles. That is your bullseye position. That would be your reference to the waypoint X itself. Now when you're flying with other planes and you use the same reference, uh, what will happen is before you take off, generally uh, the flight lead will call for an alpha check. And if the planes are side by side, the alpha check, which is your bullseye position, should be identical. And that's how you can tell you have the same reference. The alpha check can also be called in the air if you're trying to find each other. By knowing the radial position or the, the relative bearing position, you can, in the, the range, you can tell how far you are from your flight mate. And I'll show you how to actually find it a little bit easier than that. Now, you'll see that uh, something, two vertical bars, and it's commonly called captain's bars. Those are TDC acquisition bars. So now you see why they call it captain's bar. So those two bars uh, that you would put over a target to lock it, also have a bullseye position. So if you look above the captain's bar at the top left of your screen, it indicates here that my captain's bars are currently pointing over 229 degrees and 11 miles. So that's 11 miles from the bullseye. And it's, a, it's on a relative bearing of 229. So therefore, since the captain's bar is over the target, that is the target's bullseye position. Now, one more thing to point out, if you look at the bottom, you'll see BRA. BRA stands for bearing and range. Now, next to that number, uh, to that uh, BRA, you have 280 degrees and 4.1 uh, nautical miles. 
that BRA is your fly to point to the captain's bar. So if I want to fly to the captain's bar, I have to take a heading of 280 and it should be 4.1 mile away from my current position. So as you can see, if you're able to move your captain's bar to a bullseye reference point that somebody gives you, you automatically get a heading and range to, to get there. So now, let's see uh, what we can find out with a bullseye reference. Now let's assume that we did not have a radar with all that information, and we get a bullseye called out to us. Now somebody calls out uh, bullseye 229 at 11 miles, and we are at 150 bullseye, 150, 15 miles. Now based on the range and relative bearing, we could tell that we're both south of the bullseye. We can also tell that uh, the enemy, based on the, the bearing position, is on our left or westerly of us, and that the plane, since the range is shorter, is likely in front of us. At this point, we could move our captain's bar to the bullseye reference, and, we, and then we would then fly the BRA. So somebody tells us, okay, the plane is at the bullseye 250, uh, 10 miles. So you move your captain's bar at 250, 10 miles, then you can fly your BRA to go towards that target. So now that we know this, let's just jump in the plane and see how it all works and put it into practice. Okay, now that we are in the airplane, we are going to set our bullseye. It is very simple. The first thing you want to do is select a waypoint. In this case, I selected waypoint 16. It can be any waypoint that you have already assigned or decided where your bullseye is going to be and that your whole flight will have. So you can use it as a reference. The next step is to press the data button to bring it to the data page on the top right hand corner. Once you've done so, you get the exact uh, position of your waypoint 16. In this case, that's the one I selected. And if you look at the, uh, the left hand side, you see AAWP, which stands for Air to Air Waypoint. This actually is the bullseye that you will set. So now if I, when I click on air to air waypoint, AAWP, you will see it becomes boxed and it has number 16 which indicates it's waypoint 16 that's used as a bullseye. Now if I go back to my HSI and go to my radar page, you will see at the bottom of your radar, the air to air radar, you will see 356 at 46. That is actually my bullseye position from the reference point. So I am on on the relative bearing of 356 degrees and I'm 46 miles away from the bullseye. So that implies that I'm straight north almost of the bullseye by 46 miles. Okay, today I've enlisted the help of my friend Skyspin and we are going to demonstrate how we do a, uh, an alpha check. So go ahead and taxi Skyspin, taxi next to me. So today we're going to be Dog Flight 7, I will be Dog 71, and Skyspin will be Dog 72. We will wait for him to taxi. He has set up the same bullseye reference as I have. He will taxi right next to me, and then we'll call a bullseye and make sure that we do match. Here he is. Dog 7-2, Dog 7-1, Alpha check. We're on 56 degrees at 46 miles. Okay, so notice how on my radar display I have the exact same settings. It's as simple as that. So once you're in flight and as your flight lead calls Alpha check, then this is the number you have to give them so you can get a good reference as to, uh, you can get a reference as to where you are. Okay, so we're here in the air and uh, my buddy Skyspin is flying ahead of me. At my bullseye, the target that I have selected at the top left hand, you will see uh, the bullseye position of the target. So let's find out what Skyspin is seeing from his hand and that should be the number that he has. 
Dog 72, Dog 71, Alpha check. 039 at 42. So as you see, he has this bullseye position that we are seeing with our TDC acquisition bars, which are referred to as captain's bar over him. Now, if you look at the, the BRA, which is a bearing range, if I turn to 110 and 11 miles, I will meet up uh, with the target. So I hope that this was helpful for you to understand how the uh, bullseye reference work and how you can use it. Uh, one last point is if my target was actually in this position here, and I look at the bullseye reference here, I could call out uh, bogey at uh, 033, 72 miles. Then my flight buddy could actually put his uh, TDC over that position and be able to pick up the same target that I'm targeting. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, thank you for watching. Had a blast. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. More videos to come. Have a great day. Thank you.